Hello, how's everybody? I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, I was gonna do a video yesterday, but they, my um, roommates had like a party or something. I didn't really want, I mean, I still could have did it, but I just wanted to save it for today and make it a little bit better. Um, it wasn't like a big party, but I just decided not to do it. So anyway, I'm doing it today. Um, what was I going to say? Um, we're going to, I'm still working on a comment, the long comment that I had, which really helps out a lot because it clears up so many things. I mean, this co comment went into so many different areas. I didn't pick everything, but I, it had a very, a lot of interesting things in it. And I think it will clear up everything as far as Selena is concerned. Okay. One thing I want to stress which I'm really happy that I do, is the vocabulary, okay? I don't use a lot of big words, and I'm, and I'm showing you the reason why. I remember when I was in a, um, I was in a class, in a, um, uh, what do you call a class? Uh, a linguistics class. And actually the name of it was, um, what was the name of that? It was the name of semiotics. Semiotics. It was very, very in-depth. And it was like a very advanced class. And I needed the class. I'm almost sure if you've been in college. I think it was like a 500, 400 class or something like that. I know it was way up there. But um, you, I needed that class. But a lot of students would use so many words. I I didn't even understand what they were talking about most of the time, but they would read the literature and they could just bounce off so many thoughts and everything. And I remember the professor saying, you know, you could just use all those words, but you got to know all the, the meanings behind them. And then when I gave a paper to her, I remember just using simple things actually locates what you really mean. If you can use just general I'm almost sure that's why they probably use 8th grade English for a lot of things when they explain stuff because the thing about it is is that you're actually using your mind. Your mind is able to capture and see things and actually do it because when I did my paper for her, she got like dizzy because I locate things. And um, a lot of times they didn't understand what they were talking about. And she actually said it in class. She said, you know, you all are just explaining things and talking, but you have to understand the precise definitions of something that you're talking about. Just because you can catch on to certain words, like for instance, in the text, and they had some pretty um, big words in the, in the text that we had. Um, but she said to those words that you have to look them up and you have to understand them totally. So that's one reason why I'm very careful about the things that I use and things that I say. Not just that, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, how can you say there's a lot of, um, how, there's, especially nowadays, there, there's a lot of specializing in things. And people who are specialized in government and people who are specialized in politics and then people who specialize in all of, all this thing, there's no real general um, um, communications between those who specialize in this and those who specialize in that. So you have to pretty much be careful about what you say. So the reason why I'm saying that because I had to look up certain words. And... Is a reason why also because I was saying I kept saying or we were saying now that um, the Jehovah Witnesses were a, a, a sect okay and I how could I wait I have to see how I did this because we were saying that they were a sect so I had to look up sect and the definitions that I found for sect is very different from what we thought of them 
in the last 10 years. Like I said, everything is being specialized. So you have to really be careful with the words you use. So I ended up calling it a cult. And I still put sect up here. I don't know why. So. I can no longer call the Jehovah Witnesses a sect. Because of the way that the definition goes now. As far as the sect is concerned. I would pretty much have to say it was a cult. Because that one um, balanced out with what we always talk about now. So now, it's a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. And that would, um, that would, uh, that would give a true, a truer meaning of what the Jehovah Witnesses are. Because, and then I had to look up veneration. Veneration, great respect or reverence. And their great respect or reverence would be to the name, to the word Jehovah. Um, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And, um, and the governing body. So it no longer fits the, the mold for a sect. Because now they're generalizing so many things. Because they have to generalize because there's so many specializing. There's so many things that are specialized that are being specialized nowadays. So um, now, and then I had to look up, then I looked up devotion, which I already know. Um, love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person, activity, or cause. It fits the Jehovah Witness mold. Okay. So a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. Okay. Because like when I was looking up sect, I was looking up what are some, uh, a sect, a well-known sect. And they were saying the Amish, but like I'm saying, they generalize things now. And I would not say anything, I mean... It's just like an off branch of something that already exists, like the Amish who um, had a different kind of beginning. So I wouldn't place them with the Jehovah Witnesses. So now I would have to say cult. And I, I, I think we should really think about not calling them a sect anymore. Okay? Because they, maybe they started out as a sect because they did off, off, um, they did, um, have origins in uh, another religion. Um, I forgot the name of the religion, but I know that religion doesn't want me to talk about them anyway. But now I will have to view them as a cult. Now, what I was going to say, now I told you I'm still finding things in this comment that I was working on. And these are another point, another point that I brought out. But as a baptized Jehovah Witness woman, in the organization, we're still talking about Serena. Um, she cannot talk of human rights as an individual Jehovah Witness. Okay, so that's the good point. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I was thinking we have, we have a Jehovah Witness that we now can... Put our hooks into. I mean, we before all the Jehovah Witnesses are not able to be um, scrutinized. I mean, in order to scrutinize them, we have to go through the um, governing body or the Watchtower or something like that. So they're pretty much a closed um, society. But with Serena, she's out there. So this one is going to be um, pretty much will. I'm gonna. This is gonna be the title of this video. Is that um, um, will Selena be disfellowship before we get our hands on her? <laughs> okay. Okay. Because first of all, 
we've supported Serena and a lot of her, I'm uh, sorry. I mean, there was a lot of, there was a lot of things that she did that was very questionable and she needed supporters and I was one of her supporters. I mean, um, even though she may have been wrong a lot of times because she has an anger issue and she has a lot of mental problems. And um, because I thought that she was helping us as far as Jehovah Witnesses, ex-Jehovah Witnesses are concerned. I mean, I had to forgive her for a lot of things and put up with a lot of her things that she did, but now I can't do that anymore. But she's out there. She's bait. She can't hide in the Jehovah Witness world. It's impossible. That's why I say she can't pretty much help the Jehovah Witnesses. So I'm drawing this from this comment that I got, and I'm glad she made this point, okay? And which gave me, which I needed to ask Serena something. Does she actually know the difference between being baptized and not being baptized in the Jehovah Witness? It's evident that she doesn't know the difference. Um... Because as a baptized, I don't even want to use their terms, but as a back, baptized Jehovah Witness, she is now um, a member of the Jehovah Witnesses who exclude pretty much everyone. So she has very good friends, it's worldly friends now, um, Serena. You just don't drop your friends, she won't be able to. Um, the, uh, I forgot the name, the Duchess or whatever, I don't know. She's a royal family and she got married. Megan, okay. She's got ties with them. She, she's best friends with um, a royal family member who lives in the United States. Prince Harry and, um, and um, Megan, okay. So she's not going to celebrate their birthdays. I mean, and she's not going to have Christmas parties with them. It's impossible to drop that relationship. Um, she has so, much, so many worldly ties that she would actually have to hide, and change her name, and, and really hide inside the Jehovah Witnesses, which is very impossible. So that's another thing that's going to... That's why I'm saying she doesn't know the difference between being baptized and not being baptized. And and then there's something else um, uh, with us taking care. Serena actually survived with us taking care of her. You know, all the things that she went through, like I said, everybody supported her. And now things are going to have to change. Because she's going to have to answer certain questions that nor a normal trouble witness doesn't have to answer because they're hidden. But she's not hidden. So this is one YouTube to um, for us to think about, thinking that um, how it, how is she going to be able to handle? I'm not going to say it's pressure, but it's actually pressure. Um, because she has to answer all these questions. Of, uh, I got this from the fact that, yes, she does have to support human rights as far as the UN is concerned. It's impossible for her not to. And in order for her to do that, how is she going to do that? I mean, being a hidden Jehovah Witness. So like I always said, within the next three to six months, we're going to find out how she handles this. And right now I'm going to look at some, um, some, I'm going to research some uh, um, topics about how she's handling her being a um, member of a baptized Jehovah Witness cult. Okay. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. I'm going to go deeper with this and, um, 
I'm going to read the comments on what everybody thinks as far as this one is concerned. But I think it's very important. Okay? So thank you very much. And I uh, hope to have another YouTube tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.